What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Man Team Drafting Magic Online. Thankfully, next week, I believe August 14th is the cube. I believe it is Wednesday, next Wednesday. So uh, that's going to be good. Also, I'm going to say this at the beginning of the video rather than the end. If you guys have enjoyed the content, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, even if you wait till the middle, you can wait till the middle and be like, you know, I did like this. I'm going to I'm gonna like and subscribe this. I appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. And it's, you're good people. And we then we open desk, de Detection Tower. And then we feel bad about our life choices. So it's one of these two, I believe. I think Nightly Valor is very good. I also think Stag is very good. <laughs> oh, Case, what's going on? Mike, what's going on? Why are you confused in my typing stuff? I don't understand that. What's confusing about that? Uh, I don't see Valor wheeling, but I do think it's Stag here. Uh, why would we do throwback Zendikar today? That seems miserable. Oh, murder, huh? Well, somebody got a bolus, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so we're just going to be the black-white deck with the first pick stag, second pick murder. A first pick stag, second pick murder. Oh, here's a Knightly Valor. And an Angel. What's better, the Knightly Valor or the Angel? Hmm. These are the questions we ask ourselves. So, one interesting thing I've noticed about subscriptions, right? I'm always, every day I'm like, oh man, on Friday we ended with 338 subs, now we have 329, so we lost 9 subs in the past 3 days. But here's one good, here's here's a silver lining, here's here's looking at that silver lining. Uh, in those 9 days, one month ago, 9 in those, in those or in those three, 3 days rather, one month ago in those 3 days, uh, 9 people chose to subscribe during that time, and their Twitch Prime subs just happened to run out. So, um... That's not that's not bad. I'm gonna go with Angel. Maybe we can get one of these. Okay, Neller Angel seems good. Uh, I'm probably taking Luminous Bonds over Second Angel though. Um, Cat with two heads. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Also, uh, Elk Tears. What's going on, buddy? And we actually don't have to be black yet if there's no good black. Yeah, I think people not resubbing is less common because usually when you when you sub, usually you're on automatic. I've never subscribed to any channel since 2010 and never intend to do so. Well, all right. Support city over here. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Oh, Shield Mare is probably the best pick in this pack as far as cards will play. That's super awkward to say. I mean, I get that you don't. Like, that's totally fine, right? I mean, it's totally fine you don't sub to a channel. But that's kind of like walking into a store and being like, hey, I'm going to... It's like walking into a comic book store and looking at all the comics and reading some and being like, hey, I've been coming here for 10 years and I'll never actually buy any of these comics. And you're like, okay, I, uh, I, I'm i not going to stop you because my content's always free. But, I mean, proclaiming that you're never going to actually support is kind of a weird thing to do. Hmm, probably just taking Invoke here. Oh, that's a, that's a late little Gargoyle. There's a, a late little Brawl Bash Ogre as well. Feels good to be back in a stream where I don't get banned for spreading the good word of Hungry Howies and typing my message in all caps. Uh... Time out for five seconds. You got a little got a little excited there. It's okay. It's, it's, it's Monday. I understand. Just gonna have the time. Yeah. Oh, just kidding, buddy. It was only five seconds. I hope you can hope you can forgive. It was just a little joke. Uh, so this past weekend during the pro tour coverage, uh, Elk Tears was in the chat. Oh, does that demod you? Because that's hilarious, dude. All right, you're back. You're back. Um, 
during the pro tour coverage elk tears was actually posting hungry howie's memes in the actual pro tour chat it was pretty hilarious and then he got banned i was so proud oh none of these cards are great I've never actually played Vanguard in a deck. I don't know if it's good. Rip that guy's mod status. <laughs> oh, it actually did start an entire pizza dialogue. It was pretty impressive. I'm just going to take this. Oh, all right. Whatever. In case we're not black, that guy's marginally playable. Man, that is messed up. All right, well. Oh my god, every time with this dude. See, this is why I'm glad we took this frilled sea serpent, because now I just want audible. Uh, I don't think there's any... There's no black cards in here. There's no white cards in here. I'm just going to take this dude. And be be the blue-white deck that we were meant to be. There's a switcheroo. Again, well, we could take Sky March Bloodletter, but... Okay, this is all right, and this is mediocre, and this is like our best card, so we have to actually evaluate whether Wind Reader Sphinx is better than a murder. I'm pretty sure it is. Which means we actually can take Switcheroo here. Undreamt Tuna, what's going on, buddy? Everyone at work hates the fact that I love Hungry Howie's because I work in Chicago. See, I would see, like, that's just... I mean, I'm a huge fan of New York-style thin crust pizza. Like, good New York-style pizza. Not like... Not like a not like a Domino's where you're like, I'll get the Brooklyn pizza option. And, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're like, they're trying, but it's not the same. Um, and I still like some Hungry Howie's. I think Hungry... Oh, God. Oh, God. Lich's Caress and a Vampire Sovereign? God, I guess we just take the Luminous Bonds, but... Uh, I did not see a Listed Sub, nor... Did... No, that's not a Listed Sub. That's just Listed's new here, buddy. Get your life together. Matthew Ori. Yeah, I guess we're just taking Bonds. I really want... I think either of these two are, are very good, but... Every time I uh, start the stream and the American football comes on, it's always in my head. Oh boy, these packs have not been ideal. I'm gonna take this in the hopes that we can get some uh, aviation engineers, aviation pioneers. Um, black cards are gone, so don't feel bad about that. I'm not taking a second sea serpent. I'm not taking a gearsmith prodigy. Knight is meh. We're just hoping we can get some uh, some 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 artifact floats. Artifact floats. Hey, I found an artifact float. Also, a blood letter and a strangling spore is in the same pack? My god. Now the black cards are... 
pretty good. <laughs> Wallet, I saw those commands this weekend, buddy. You got a little aggressive there. I was impressed. A little, a little freaked out, but I was impressed. Tan and Grace, what's going on, buddy? Hmm. Tan, did you guys come in 21st place at the PT? Or 31st, rather? Is that correct? Am I correct there? 31? Big fat 31? Good sir, congratulations. Wow, these packs are really bad. I'm going to take this pack beast. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, in case black is back on the menu, we'll take this up here. I don't think we're going to play a Talarian Scholar. All right. Well, you can see how this draft is going. Are you a Seattleite? I mean, I lived in Seattle for a few years. I'm not sure if you've ever heard the term pizza pie. Yeah, of course I have. Who hasn't heard of pizza pie? Oh, you're not you're not referring to me. Pony P, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um Boy. Alright, disperse is salvageable. Alright, we really need this next pack to deliver here, because I'm not feeling it right now. I mean, Wall of Mist is an option. Crying out loud, it's terrible, isn't it? Second cancel? We're just going to play the double cancel deck? Come on, Crucible of Worlds? Why do we want a Crucible of Worlds? Oh, a Banefire. Well, that's splashable. 100% splashing Banefire here. Not close, kids. Oh, Sun Cleanser. That's hot garbage. I'm going to take any white, red, or blue, red land we see. These picks are... I mean, we're probably just going to take the... Uh, whatever... Oh, boy. Oh, actually, Horizon Scholar is great for us. Yeah, that's pretty good. I feel good about that one. I'm, why is my sideboard so large here? MTG Garlic Bread. That's so weird, buddy. Oh, man. Good luck. Stay safe. Don't do anything crazy, okay? Engineer. Could be good. Could be good. Yeah, that's probably the best pick in this pack. I like Mirror Image. But I don't like that it has to copy a creature you control. I'd rather just have the Avianation Ionier. Avi you know what? I'm not going to say the name anymore. It's just not worth it. Oh, Essence Scatter or Sift? We don't have any cards right now. Any card draw right now. Our two drop slots also pretty bare. Ugh. Is 
This is a 2 3, right? This is just a strictly better Talarian Scholar. That's pretty hilarious. I want to take Essence Scatter. I don't like it. But. Eh, Mighty Leap is playable. We do need, like, I'll take two more creatures, and I think this deck will be fine. <clears throat> yep, all right, well, I did not mean Field Creeper when I said two playable creatures, just to be clear. Uh, I'll take another Scholar of Stars. I think that's better than a Dwarven Priest here, especially if we can actually draw the card. Which makes that Field Creeper a little more, uh... A little more tantalizing. Well, this is probably our twenty three at this point. I don't think we saw one aviation pioneer. I guess that's true. Look at this thing. Look at him. Display, preview pane. Oh, wow, they changed the back here. That's cute. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Marauder's Axe is fine, I guess. Probably better than Aether Tunnel. It also helps trigger Engineer and Scholars, which we have two of. Man, no way to splash this Banefire, huh? You'll get caught up in the Banefire. Oh, I like a Salvager, actually. Do we actually want that? Anticipate, Disperse, Fork... Oh, yeah, I don't care about you. I wonder how many Gearsmiths I could have gotten. Uh, I think a lot. Yeah, sure. Uh, switcheroo. We can probably cut the cancel. Okay, well, I was in the middle of doing something, but thank you for that. That's very nice of you. Probably cutting Fetid Creeper and cancel. I don't like the double blue restriction on uh, cancel. And I think Creeper's genuinely, generally pretty bad. I think we can run two of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to make it happen. No Mike today. Mike has a job. So, no. Mulligan. Oh, you know what? Sure. Whenever someone says big fan, I'm just like, oh, you're, are you doing the meme or are you actually just saying you're a big fan? I actually can't tell at this point. Have you thought about doing a Ravnica draft? Are there Ravnica drafts up? Uh, There's only a Zendikar draft. So I would love to. I would do a Ravnica draft if Ravnica drafts were up, but... But if you mean in general, have I just considered, like, have I ever sat there on a lazy Sunday afternoon thinking of doing a Ravnica draft? No. Oh, yes. The answer is yes for that. Um, as far as Zendikar, no, I, I have not thought about doing a Zendikar draft because Zendikar is a miserable draft format. Add com.
There we go. I added a Zendikar command, so for everyone who keeps asking if we're interested in drafting Zendikar, we can easily express to them that no, no, we are not. Ooh. I'm just gonna trade here. Um, we already got a card out of this guy, and I don't really like. This is three versus two. I don't really feel like we're gonna come out tremendously far ahead there. Plus, we already have two very, very uh, reliable four-four flyers in our hand. So I'd rather just conserve our life total. And they liches caress land, please. All right, well, I'm local game story. So I drafted what I thought was a pretty sick red white aggro deck with two her herd forces, one at fountain, and randomly amulet. Still managed to eventually run them over. So, yeah, I can imagine that taking ages. That sounds pretty bad. One landfall buck. <laughs> oh, how fitting. Fantastic. Oh, finally cracking the fountain, huh? At 28 life. Long time watcher, first time chatter. I heard you were considering partaking in your favorite limited or in history Zendikar. Yeah, you nailed it. Also, that ain't true, you liar. I've, I know you around. All the lands. Insert streaming. I'm a giant fan. Oh, God. It's going to be a picture of a giant fan, isn't it? Case, why are you the way that you are? Why? Up, oh, yep, both of them on the bottom. Top card is going to be a Wind Reader Sphinx, just to be uh, just to be clear, so everyone knows. Okay. Spooky, scary skeletons. Send shivers down your spine. I'm actually tempted to disperse this guy. Only you, Zendika, would be so bold. Wow, that's where you can. That's where you draw the line. You'll get caught up in the bane fire. Wow, only three turns after drawing the bane fire, we actually would have gotten to cast it, which is not bad. That's kind of where you want to be. So we saw Lich's Caress, and we saw Strangling Sooty Spores. Oh yeah, keep this all day. Yeah, our opponent was like, Disperse? I'm out. This is the most beautiful hand I've ever seen. We have all the colors. We have the Marauder's Axe into the Scholar. We have the spooky, scary skeletons sending all the shivers down your spine. He's playing a blue-white deck. Why does he keep talking about the skeletons? Why do you keep doing this to yourself? I have. A, I like playing Magic the Gathering. What problem is? Yeah, you can have that. Ain't nobody got time for that, dude. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spines. I'm waiting for this Hearthstone article to go up on PC Gamer today. One self-heckling book. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alright, I'm taking three here. Don't do anything crazy. You got one green, buddy. Oh, 
I just tried to play land at the end of their turn. I was like, end of your turn? Alright, I'll play land. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Hold on a second. Hey, what the fuck are you doing, dude? God! Stinging cat, man! Unbelievable. That cat was just like, clawing up the bed. I hear him in the background, I'm like, what are you doing, man? Alright. So they liches caress that guy. Spooky, scary skeletons, and here's man, it's mine. I'm gonna bounce this, bro. I might essence scatter on the way down. Well, I don't love playing this here, but we're going to do it anyway. What in the earth, man? Earth, man! You guys like this post-combat uh, Marauder's Axe? I wanted to keep man up for this and activate. Um... But once they Mighty Leap us, we weren't going to be able to, or once we had a Mighty Leap, we weren't going to be able to do that. So then we equipped. Oh my goodness gracious, this is just terrible. So we take five here if we attack. I guess we take three and they take five. All right, reasonable. We're killing this guy because if they have Macabre Waltz or Rise from the Grave or something, I'd rather them not get the 2-2 two -two back. Yep. Discard switcher. I don't foresee us exchanging any of these creatures for theirs. Alright. Well, we could really use a 6 land here. Or a second white source. Yep, now we're not attacking. 
we attack for three then we have the block here we take two or but attack for five not three but still don't think it's great yep Let's see how this turns out. Wow. That's actually totally fine. That's a that's a bunch. I will keep any any planes on top. Not only do we get to play Shield Mare, but we also get to play Windrider Sphinx. Yep, keep them both. Alright, sounds good. So we go to five here, and we just hope they don't go uh, mountain lava axe. Lava Axe Neonatus. I'm going to play this first, and then we're going to play Drake, and then we're going to draw two next turn. Can confirm litter box is the worst thing about having a cat. All right, we just win this game. Man, oh man. Spooky, scary skeletons. Mulliganos. I I actually uh, not a big fan of outdoor cats. Uh, for one, I ran over a cat once. I was driving home from work one day. A cat ran across the street, and I ran over it. Uh, it was a pretty miserable experience, and I realized that some family who owned that cat was not going to ever see their cat again, and they probably wouldn't know about it for quite some time because their cat just wouldn't come home. Uh, so I was not a big fan of having an outdoor cat. Also, I don't like the constant potential for or just I guess the constant potential for danger or parasites but that's just me I mean, I'm sure certain people are totally fine with outdoor cats and Haji Gulashi, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Also, I did respond to your email, just so you know. That was pretty rude. We can actually I like that I like that we have Switcheroo because now we can trade for your best guy. We also have Disperse if we want to Disperse it. We can actually switch a room and then Disperse. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I guess we're just going to attack with uh, Old Staggy. Do enchantments fall off? No, why would they fall off? That doesn't make any sense at all. Spooky scares. And now they can't really even attack because we can just give flight. Take vengeance, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Huh. I feel like mistakes were made here.
A bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see if it pays off. Well, yeah, I know you're just asking, but like, I think a lot of times people need to ask themselves why a thing would happen, right? Like, there's no reason the enchantment would fall off, right? So you should ask yourself why. Why would this happen? Um, instead of just assuming, just maybe like even considering that it might, like, because there's no reason for it to do that. Uh, artifact in the graveyard. I don't care about either of these, to be quite honest. I think we're at a point where we can probably start attacking with both. Yeah, that's annoying. It's not like super annoying. It's just irritating, I think. What's up, Buddha style? Yeah, we're just going to seven you. And then next turn we should be able to win the game with a card like Mighty Leap. Negative. I would like to keep this preach. Uh, bottom, bottom. Bottom, bottom. Who's got the bottom? So now we have seven again and a mighty leap. Hopefully no one of the liches caress. Yeah, we could have bounced the, the bonds and attacked for lethal. That's actually a good... Uh, we actually... Mm, four, five, six, seven... Uh, they would have been 11, so it actually wouldn't have been lethal. Because they gained three life from Lich's Caress. So I'd rather just keep Horizon Scholar. Switch a ruined standard without knowing the way. It's like Wizard wants to ruin the game. It's like they're not even trying. Spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, they were at eight and then they gained three from the uh Lich's caress. So they go to eleven and we only have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so. Uh, actually, three damage off with leap. Two damage off with leap because they gain a life from the daybreak. They go to 11. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're two off. So chat, chat lethal strikes again, unfortunately. Uh, I think we're actually, I think our deck is actually fine. We could bring an invoke, but we took too long. And we only saw luminous spawns, so. This hand is actually pretty good.
I like how I say actually pretty good. This hand is actually like it's a surprise. Like, oh my, this hand is actually pretty good. Who saw that coming? The answer is everyone. And no one. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand's good. Can we draw a shield mare? That would be nice. Then we can go this guy into shield mare into 4-4. Four, four. Actually, we'll probably just run this guy out there first as like a uh, it's just a safety measure. Yeah, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna play this because I don't want you to think I have cancel, but then I want to ask them to scatter whatever you have. Because that's less likely, right? Like, if we have if we play the blue, then we could have cancel and essence scatter. If we just play this, we could only have essence scatter, so... Well, <laughs> how murderous. Yeah, we're just going to play Aerial Engineer. You're a little behind on mana here. Going to lose to the Vampire now? Oh, I have my doubts. I feel like it's 17. We're, we're, pretty, we're pretty comfortable. Sitting pretty, as it were. I will block. Disperse off the top. It's not a disperse, but I accept I accept you for what you are. So I'm pretty sure this is better than uh, playing Gargoyle here. We're probably going to play Angel next turn, but now we get to keep up Explosive and uh, Essence Scatter, which is nice. Yeah, no, that's going to go right in the trash can. Right in the toilet bowl. Put it in the garbage. Pretty sure this game's over. I don't want to be presumptuous, but... And we haven't even played our Banefire yet. So both of these guys are lethal now, which is super nice. <sighs> Unless they let just caress us. Seems good. Cleansing Nova. Well, we're just going to play two guys here. Right in the toilet bowl, put it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that you combine those two. That's phenomenal. You got it. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Did you, are they hoping I forget to attack and then also forget to use this? It's possible. All right. And they conceded. It's like they conceded before. They're like, okay, you saw it. Yeah, I did. I saw it. This has been a quick draft. Those two rounds are very, very quick. Maybe this is where we get our six packs back. I'll keep this hand. We can play pretty much anything we draw. And if we get a red, we can play our Banefire. Yeah, let's not go, let's not go crazy yet. We could still definitely lose this. They did go to five, which is a good sign.
Yeah, don't jinx it. That's what I'm saying. How about Shield Mare into snapping Drake? His hand's not improving yet. Do you... Oh, a whiff. Okay, good. I was afraid you were going to recover. Lol? <laughs> really? I mean, that it seems like whiffing in limited is probably... Pre wow, a turn late, huh? I'm going to capitalize the L Unlimited. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem terribly uncommon to whiff with. You usually have 13 creatures in your deck about. By the time you play this guy, you probably have 13 creatures. Maybe seven of them are probably targets. I mean, I don't know. Sitting with five red cards now. All right. Well, that's worse. Yeah, if I win, I can say, hey, baby, want to see my six pack? I don't know who I'd say that to, but I imagine I could say it with to someone. I will not block. Champagne supernova in the sky. So you're telling me there's a chance. Actually, it might have been Gargoyle Sentinel this turn. Just say it to chat. They'll like it. Hey, chat, you want to see my six packs? Oh, boy. I don't know if they liked it as much as... Uh, I, I, I think the, uh, the lol... One planes left in the deck. Oh, cringy. Should I say it to my opponent? Should I be like, hey, hey, Lamabot, Lamabo, Lamabo T? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Y'all want to see my six packs? And they'll be like, no, I don't want to see your six packs. Yeah, I'm not going to attack with both. We're just going to play Gargoyle and keep up Mighty Leap. Hey, we did it. Got that red mana. I mean, I'm really looking forward to, uh, I guess you can stay. You can stay home. One, two, three, four, six. So we could have dealt ten here. We could just do that next turn. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that that mountain so we can bane fire. I didn't say the LOL in the chat. They did. That'd be pretty bad if I said that. Oh, a trash master. I think that's that's got to be game, right? That is true. Trashmaster can kill our gargoyle. Well, I'm gonna make him do it.
Do 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 do. Well, they still have four cards. We have hit a ton of lands, so. Um, this is fascinating. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'll take seven here. If we block, it forces us to use Mighty Leap. And I'd rather just try to win with Mighty Leap. Here goes nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't have lightning strike, I guess. All right, we got seven. Are we getting there? We did it. Mountain. Horizon Scholar would have bottomed probably both of those. Drawn a scholar, no card draw. Sky scanner would have drawn us into that. Then we would have hit. Yeah, there was no mountain coming up any 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 time in the near future. I wonder if amulet's good here. I have to assume they have more than just goblin instigator. I'm gonna bring a cancel in because I feel like they probably have uh, certain particular blowout cards. I'm going to take Switcheroo out. Maybe Wall of Mist is actually pretty good here. I'm just going to bring in a Wall of Mist for the heck of it. Uh, if we block the 2-2 two -two and they tap out to pump it, then we have to use our Mighty Leap. And we don't actually get to use it to win the game instead. We have to use it to... Oh, we can actually use it on the Drake, I guess. Yeah, I guess that could have been fine. This is actually a pretty good hand if we can hit a third land. Alright, if we can hit an island next turn, this hand gets really good. Sky Scanner into a trusty pack beast. Getting back Sky Scanner. Heavy breathing. Oh boy. Never never gets easier. Cool. Hmm. Guess we should have mulliganed the two land hand on the draw. Well, that's cool. Our opponent... Yep, alright. Fantastic. Just amazing. Oh, boy. Let's try again, I guess. It's super irritating. Yep, this is, this is a keepable hand. Well, you did play 41 cards. <laughs> like that actually makes any difference whatsoever. Love it. Thank you. Oh, Illusions of the 17 month sub. It's almost like we're BFFs now.
Come on, white. Why you like? We need lands here. Is the real problem. <sighs> this is how we lose. Not not to our opponent, but to our own deck. Yep, that is actually fine. I believe 41 cards is probably the... I can't tell if anyone's being serious with that because it's so actually so ridiculous. It's such a ridiculous thing to say that it feels like it has to be some kind of meme, right? Yep, yeah, third, third land. Fantastic. Also, why are you saying he when you're talking directly to a streamer? That's very strange. The whole point of being live is that you can engage with the content creator, the guy who's who you're watching. So be like he, like it's like you're talking to the audience about me. Yeah, we can't just have you go this. We can't have you go this wide. Oh, uh, I don't mind we. I, I like. I kind of like we because it feels like a team thing. You know, like. What if Wall of Mist was a 1-4 instead? That'd be so good in this format. Come on, land. It's such a joke, dude. <sighs> yep. Intriguing. Well, you're in Arkansas Magic Games. First time catching your stream since then. Just want to send this to you. Follow me on. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, bouncing this guy. Cool. I don't know. Disperse probably would save the token. I could just care less. Like, when I can't hit my... When it's turn five and I miss three land drops two games in a row, like... Cool. Like, I'm just... I'm pretty much over it. I wonder if they sack the goblin to kill the apparatus. That's actually just fine for us. Cool. I'm just so done, dude. I Whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it, despite the fact that we literally couldn't play Magic in game three, or round three. Um, deck seemed great. Didn't actually manage to lose a game up until the last round. And then, unfortunately, uh, we didn't... Not one of those games was actually that good. Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Either way, really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check out my Patreon and my Twitch page. Both of the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.